Hello, and welcome to Xenology. What do side blotched lizards have to do with how you and your peers made important decisions as children? Rock, paper, scissors. Firstly, this is a common side blotched lizard, Uta stansburyana. And so is this. And so is this. Hey, wait, you say. Those aren't even the same color. One's orange, one's blue, and one's yellow. I know, it's neat, huh? In fact, all three of those are males. The females are generally gray or brown, with some yellow or orange throat markings. So what's up with the three different colors of males, and what does this have to do with rock, paper, scissors, you ask? Each color is a different morph, and each goes about getting the lady lizards differently. The orange-throated males control large territories with lots of lady lizards. They are the biggest of the three morphs, and they're super aggressive. Their fearless lifestyle, they won't even back down from approaching humans, for instance. Coupled with having the strain of a lot of testosterone flowing through their body means orange-throated males have the shortest average lifespan of the three morphs. They take over the territory and the ladies of blue-throated males, but are often tricked by yellow-throated males who masquerade as females. The blue-throated males control small territories that normally contain only one female. They're larger and more aggressive than the yellow-throated males, but less so than the orange throats. With their smaller ranges and only a single female to guard, they're better than the orange-throated males at defending against the yellow throats who attempt to sneak in and mate with the female they guard. Interestingly, some blue-throated males have been found to team up to guard against the hyper-aggressive orange-throated males, in a neat display of what on the surface looks like altruism, though on a deeper level it is still self-promoting. I'll talk about altruism in a later video. Yellow-throated males are the least aggressive, avoid direct confrontation, and hold no territory. They are what scientists refer to as sneaker males. As already mentioned, yellow-throated males will pretend to be females to trick orange throats into letting them in their territory. When blue-throated males and orange-throated males fight, or when orange-throated males are otherwise distracted, yellow throats will dart in, mate with a female, and dart out. In addition, yellow-throated males can become blue-throated males if a nearby blue throat dies. Not all of the yellow throats appear to be able to do this, and their markings don't look identical to the genetic blue males. However, their behavior does change to that of a blue-throated male. So if you haven't figured out the pattern yet, I'll lay it out for you. When the population has a high frequency of orange-throated males, yellow-throated males are especially fit because they can sneak under the radars of the orange-throated males and get a lot of mating in. And the next generation will contain a larger number of yellow-throated males. In the following generation, blue throats will have the advantage because they're good at guarding against the now abundant, sneaky yellow-throated males. And the following generation will have more blue-throated males. The resulting blue-throated male heavy population will result in orange-throated males having an advantage because of their ability to steal land and females from the blue-throated males. And alas, the cycle continues. But wait, there's more! It so happens that there's two different color morphs for the females as well, yellow throats and orange throats. Orange-throated females produce a large number of smaller eggs. Organisms that exhibit this quantity over quality approach to reproduction are called R strategists by biologists. Orange-throated females are especially fit when the side blotched lizard population density is low, when food is abundant, and when the population isn't taking heavy losses from predation. Unlike the orange-throated females, the yellow-throated females make fewer eggs, but each one is larger. Organisms that take a quality over quantity approach to reproduction are called K-strategists. This strategy is advantageous when competition for food and risk of predation are high. Side blotched lizards from yellow-throated mothers tend to have higher survival rate than those from orange-throated mothers, though there are fewer offspring to start out with. Just like with the males, the frequency of each color morph for the females also cycles, though at a faster rate. Pretty amazing. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this video interesting and entertaining. I'd love comments or suggestions to help guide me into making future videos more interesting. I would also love some likes, and subscribing would just make my day. Lastly, remember, curiosity fed the ferret. So long.